What is going on guys, it's Scott with Never Hedge, and today we are going over the NFT play to earn game, Pega XY, or I've also heard it pronounced Peg Axi. So what is very interesting about the PGX token, it is, it is up almost 6% today. And if we look at their other uh, in-game token, Vigorous, uh, it is up 10% today. And what is very interesting about that is if we look at the broader crypto market as a whole, uh, basically a sea of red. This morning, Ethereum was down another 11%, but it has since rebounded a little bit. Can't go much lower than this. Solana down, still down 5.74%. Uh, everything is pretty thoroughly shitting the bed. Polygon down 35% in the last week. So pretty not fun time to uh, be digging into the crypto world right now, but this one is green in a sea of red. The last week it's still down, well, let's see, 45 to 42. So it's, it's down a tiny, tiny bit, but not really anything uh, too significant. Doing uh, shockingly well in the sea of red because all of the money is fleeing uh, crypto right now. And that is due to broader market forces in general with the quantitative tightening instead of the quant quantitative easing and uh, the threats of raised interest rates. JPOW is threatening to turn the money printer off and people are freaking out. Dow Jones is down, well, was down like 2% this morning, which is ridiculous. Uh, those are the kind of numbers that make people jump off of bridges. Uh, down 1.5%, but down 500 points. Same with the NASDAQ, not looking good. <laughs> but this is, so we'll focus on that. So, uh, Pega XY is fairly similar to another uh, horse racing play to earn game that I focused on uh, a week or two ago, D Race. Uh, also, Zed Run is up there as well. But this one is very unique. If we go over to their OpenSea page right here, they are uh, definitely in entering into the realm of fantasy cyberpunk esque with the kind of robotic uh, Pegasus wings and the cyborg bodies, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. And we do have a little gameplay footage here with a nice little trailer. And then we'll get into the website. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Let's check out their website. So uh, I've heard, I've read people on Discord and Telegram and things like that complaining that their website is a little bit buggy and it absolutely is because if I go to play now here on the Google Chrome browser, nothing happens, but uh, it'll show up just fine on the uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer. So the Microsoft browser works no problem. Google Chrome, not so much. But the only problem is uh, I do not have MetaMask on here. So we're gonna have to kind of do a little hodgepodge. And so we'll do uh, first do the old about us. Pega XY or uh, Pegaxi, a combination of Pegasus and Galaxy is a racing game with futuristic mythological styling. The Pega Horses are descendants of the mighty Pegasus. In this game, players will participate in PvP format races to win rewards in the platform's native utility token, Vigorous. I love the name for that, Vigorous. Racing. It's not as easy as it looks. Mastering the elements is important, and winning uh, the Vigorous token is the end goal. Refine your skills, understand the mechanics, and dominate the competition. And we'll go over breeding a little bit because breeding seems like it is very expensive. I was looking on their Discord and it takes quite a few vigorous tokens, uh, which I think is more than the floor price of uh, a Pega on, oh God, floor price is 0.21 now. But I mean, there's, there's literally only one at 0.21. 
and there's no picture for it. But basically the floor price is 0.48 thousand bucks. And the breeding aspect is very cool. I believe you can breed each horse up to seven times, and obviously you do need two of them. So whether you breed your Pega for resale, profit, for fun, or even breed for your scholars, the, the more Pega you have, the better. And as far as renting goes, pull this up. Uh, let's go to renting. Renting is pretty cheap and a lot of people will offer you, you just rent it for free and then you only keep 5% of the profits or you pay uh, 68 vigorous. I believe that's the cheapest I've found. Uh, as far as renting goes, I was a little bit off here. So these are the PGX tokens that uh, you have to pay for renting. So it would be more like uh, 40 bucks here. So a little bit different. So it might be worth going the share profit route if you can if you can find one. But as you can see, I mean these are going these rentals are going very quickly. Uh, because a couple of minutes ago the cheapest one was uh, 78. Yeah, there's there's a 70 there. Uh, mostly they're around 100, some are a little bit more, 150, 200. That's for two days though. So 40 bucks a day is not bad uh, if you're if you're an owner here. Definitely worth picking one up, especially considering current floor price is around a thousand dollars. So to make your money back, let's see here. Let's do a little math. Pull up the old on-screen calculator. So 10, 86, 73 divided by we'll say a hundred. PGX, which is so $42.80. So if you can rent your horse out for uh, 25 straight days at, you know, 100 PGX per day, uh, you're making your money back in essentially 26 days. So you're turning a profit uh, month one, which is pretty incredible. And then say if you do that, let's say you can do that for three, four months. Well, let's let's see what it's gonna be like for three months. And we'll use our current price right now, 42.8 times 90 for three months. 38.52 uh, divided by 10.86, 73. All right, so you essentially 3.54X uh, your money. Obviously, if you're essentially doubling up your money every single month, uh, that, shit adds up real quick and that doesn't even take into consideration the vigorous tokens you get when you win races or even uh, i think they do win place show so it's top three uh, paces, places are paid so that is a uh, pretty 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 good roi right there and this game is only growing in popularity as they do have a very similar like scholarship type of program to Axie Infinity. And if we look over here, Axie Infinity is down quite a bit. I would imagine there's going to be less user interaction with the game if it is not profitable for them. Like most of the people are playing Axie to make money. So when the game is no longer profitable, uh, a lot of those scholars and owners and managers are going to shift over to something else that is, and right now it looks like Pegaxi is definitely one of the most profitable games that I've seen in researching on this channel. So uh, I'm definitely gonna pick up one of these bad boys, but uh, let's go over their white paper quick. So right, right off the bat here, the system has proven to be a sound long-term economic approach when building an NFT slash blockchain based game as it enables teams to build large guilds, scholarship programs, and even provides solo players the opportunity to earn in-game tokens through daily racing. The initial sale of 5,000 founding PEGA was held in October 2021. Alongside the PGX launch via IDO in November, the first 5,000 PEGAs were dubbed the founding PEGA as they were the only ones created by the PEGAXI development team. Every PEGA after 5,000 has since been minted or created through the breeding model inside the game. So that's uh, pretty awesome. And now owners and renters can earn by racing their Pega in PVP mode, selling high performing or newly born Pegas on the marketplace, renting out their Pega in the rental marketplace for a share of the racing profit or a fixed term rental, collecting rare or uh, founding and crowned Pega and reselling through marketplace price speculation, 
competing in Pegaxi's global competition, the Grand Dash. This competition takes place over 12 months, concluding in December, in which the top 12 racers of every class compete in a series of events until the top 15 racers are identified in the grand final in december and the top 15 will receive generous pgx rewards so there's a huge incentive to be racing throughout the year let's go over the racing so this is very important here how are the race results determined at initial game release the races were primarily determined by random number generator with slight decision making also dependent on the pega and track stats providing you with a fair opportunity to place in the top three they're working hard to bring as many player controlled factors into pega Axie as possible. This will allow for higher skilled players to have a better chance of top three placement. Uh, that would be very interesting if you could actually control your horse while it's racing. Whereas uh, Zed and D race are just simulated. This is also simulated as well. And this is what I think is going to make them take off because right now what uh, Pega Peg Axie is working on is migrating away from being an auto racer to a more traditional manual skill-based game. People will be required to manually control their Pega during the race, which opens up opportunity for skill, <clears throat> skilled players to perform better in the game. Now we'll go over breeding and the costs associated with doing so. As an owner in Pegaxi, there are multiple factors you need to consider when breeding and it also includes your personal goals. So we can see the uh, scale scaling cost of breeding. So your first one is really cheap at uh, right around 200 bucks plus 30 tokens. You can go ahead and sell that for $1,000 essentially, but you do have to have two. And then it essentially goes up by 2,000 for your first three. And then it goes up 4,000, 6,000, 10,000. And then your last one is super expensive. So your last one goes up by 16,000. So basically they add the two before it and that's your new cost, right? Six is four plus two, 10, six plus four, 16, six plus 10, 26, 16 plus 10, 42 is... 26 plus 16 so your your last one and it's it's good that they're doing this because otherwise you'd get people breeding really quick i think they gotta probably limit the number of horses out there in order to keep the keep the game from being diluted too much so 42,000 is 4,600 dollars so that is definitely not worth it uh, when you consider your total revenue that you'd be uh, generating from these if you were going to breed them out and sell them immediately be about 7,300 bucks so it essentially stops being profitable after uh, your fourth breeding let me see what the total cost is so your total cost, if you're gonna buy all the all the uh, vigorous tokens to breed your horse seven times, would be eleven thousand six hundred and sixty dollars. Although this could be worth it if you were to use all of these for rentals. So if you're if you're raking in seven hundred uh, PGX tokens per day times 0.42 is two hundred and ninety four dollars per day times. 30 uh that is eighty eight hundred and twenty dollars per month so keep that in mind it is definitely worth it if your your plans are to rent all these out every single day but again after the third breeding it's not really like you might as well go out and just start buying horses at that point and then use those to breed so you get a fresh uh, breeding slate and we'll go over uh, renting next. So the rental process, uh, there's three types of renting inside the Pegaxi game. Uh, there's fixed renting, profit share, and direct rental. For fixed renting, uh, it's the most traditional or real real world renting style. In this scenario, the NFT owner simply puts his peg onto the market for a fixed price. Say, for example, 2,000 PGX in return for the 2,000 PGX, the renter will receive the peg for a fixed amount of time, for example, 60 days. In this scenario, once the renter has accepted the agreement and the peg is inside the escrow wallet, the owner will receive the full PGX from an escrow account. However, they will not be able to take back their PEGA for the full 60 days, guaranteeing the renter's PEGA for the fixed rental period. Excellent, right there. Completely trustless, uh, don't have to do anything for that. Profit share, 
uh, that we went over this a little bit. So you can uh, set it as the renter keeps a percentage of the earnings and they do have the direct rental. So you can go uh, rent to other people in your guild. It allows the manager to create a rental contract which they can send uh, directly to the scholar for them to accept no other person besides the scholar was sent to will be able to accept the scholarship. So fairly sub there as well. I think that this is definitely a home run if you are looking for some passive income in this sea of red here, again, up 6.87%. Uh, I think that the play here is definitely going the rental route and maybe breathing a few times just so you can get more uh, rental horses but uh, anyways guys that is pretty much all i got for you today and as always please make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more updates on peg Axie, as well as other nfts stocks and tokens we like and i thank you guys so much for watching this far and i will see you in the next video